In the previous chapter, we talked about using fast render works for quick checks on the appearance of a rendering, and we also discussed using final quality render works to produce a high quality rendering that does take longer to complete than fast render works, but looks much better. We can use a third option, custom render works, to adjust the many underlying render work settings. And this way we can fine tune the features we want in a rendering and also avoid using those we don't want. And this can save a lot of rendering time. Now how do we access the custom render works settings? In a design layer, access the custom render work settings by going to view rendering custom render works options. And if we're using a viewport, we select the viewport and go to the object info palette and then we select custom render works for the background render and click on the background render settings button. Now in each case the custom render works options window opens divided in two portions options and quality. The options area near the top has check boxes that enable a number of features in both rendering and textures. Selecting a checkbox enables that feature. The more features you enable, the longer a rendering will take. We may not need all the features for every rendering, and it's often better to select a small number of options when speed is more important than quality. So let's take a look at an example. We'll open this chapter's first exercise file, which is 29a.vwx, and then go to saved view 1, which is a viewport. In this case, we'll access the settings and also complete the rendering within the viewport rather than the design layer. Select the viewport and in the object info palette do the following. First, select the rendering method. So we click on the background render drop-down box and select custom render works. This will be the rendering method used in the exercise. And now we'll adjust the settings. Click on the background render settings button the custom render works options window opens and in the options area notice that within the textures category some checkboxes are not selected and this means that those features will not show up in the rendering now click OK and render notice that the textures look flat they don't have a three-dimensional quality and that's because the texture categories that can display three-dimensional effects have been turned off. If we go back to the custom RenderWorks options window and select the checkboxes for those categories, when we render again in custom RenderWorks, the three-dimensionality of those textures will be seen quite clearly. Now the options portion of the custom RenderWorks options window, the part of the top half of the window, has a variety of different categories. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory. If we select the shadows checkbox, for example, the rendering will display shadows. A complete description of each category and its meaning can be found in the Vectorworks help file. Just search for custom RenderWorks options. Now let's talk about quality. If the options portion at the top of the custom RenderWorks options window lets us switch certain categories on or off, the quality part in the lower half of the window lets us control the level of quality in a variety of image quality categories. Generally speaking, the higher the quality level, the longer the rendering time. To shorten the rendering times, but still retain an acceptable level of quality for our needs, we can set certain items to a high setting while keeping others at a low or medium setting. So let's take a look at an example. Open the second exercise file, which is 29B VWX, and this opens to a viewport and I will render the viewport so click on the viewport and in the object info palette click on the update button and in this case the viewport is preset to render in custom render works now pay special attention to the square structure in the middle of the scene with the rock texture applied to it look at the detail of the rock texture and the outline of the structure now we'll change the quality setting for one of the quality categories. So click on the background render settings button to open the custom RenderWorks options window. And in the quality settings, click on the displacement mapping button, which is set to low. And select very high and then click OK. 
Now we'll click Update to re-render the viewport. And now we can see how much more detail can be observed in the object. By changing the displacement mapping setting from low to very high, we've improved the displacement detailing on the rock surface and around the edges, but we've also increased the amount of time that it takes to render the scene. Now the quality portion of the Custom RenderWorks Options window has eight different quality types. Again, a complete description of each of these quality types can be found in the VectorWorks help files. The main point to remember is that we can produce renderings with the exact combination of quality settings that are suitable for our needs and it's worth experimenting with each of those settings to observe the effects that each one has on a rendering.